Hey everybody, welcome back to another Big League Lawns tutorial video. I'm Andy and today I'm going to show you how to attach your Checkmate Lawn Striping Kit to the Toro Time Master Wide Area Walk Behind Mower. So come with me and let's get started. All right guys, so it just happens that you're in luck because the Time Master is one of the easiest installations that we offer here at Big League. So let's go over the tools and the hardware necessary for the installation. I have everything laid out on the table for you. To start, you're gonna need a half inch wrench or socket, it's up to you. And then you're also gonna need a three quarter inch wrench or socket. These two Allen keys are located in your hardware pack, but I've gotten them out just to show you. So you're gonna have an eighth inch Allen key and a 5 16 Allen key. So again, those are located in your hardware pack. Then the other thing that I wanted to touch on within the hardware pack are these three hole mounting arms. These are gonna come pre-assembled like you see here, the only thing you need to do is to take off this 5 16 lock nut because we're going to use that later on. Everything else you can leave how it is. So now that we've laid out our tools and our hardware, we can begin to mount this up. So the first thing I want to show you is the mounting location that we're going to use. So right at the rear of the machine, you're going to have a hole this size on either side of the machine. So to get to this one, the first thing you need to do, I've already done it here, you're going to have the, your handlebars in this position and you're going to lift up on here and you're going to pull the flap up and just kind of tuck it right behind the handlebars that's going to be the easiest way to prop this thing up just so that you can get on the inside to mount this up so i'm going to go ahead and disassemble one of my brackets here just take that 5 16 lock nut off you're going to grab your 5 16 allen key that's included in your hardware pack and you're gonna slip the bracket right into that hole. It'll slide right in. And the 5 16 lock nut, you can go ahead and finger thread that on, on the other side. And then once you have that threaded on, you will use your half inch wrench or socket, whatever you have, on the lock nut, hold that in place, and go ahead and tighten down with your Allen key. All right guys, so one thing I wanna mention is when you're tightening this, make sure that you don't have it too tight where the bracket can't move up and down because the unit needs to be able to pivot so that it'll freely float up and down with the contours of the ground. So you do want a rigid mount so that you're not gonna have any flex side to side, but you still want it to be able to pivot with ease like this. So now that we have both of our mounting arms assembled and installed on the machine, we can go ahead and hook the roller up. So the first thing I want you guys to notice about the roller is that you'll have two channel nut assemblies. These are going to be used to attach to the bottom of the mounting arms. So when you're taking these bolts out, there's a potential that the channel nut could get shifted and fall out of the channel like this. So with these rounded corners, it's super easy to put it back in. You'll just push it down, turn 90 degrees, and it locks right back into place. So now we're gonna go ahead and install the roller to the mounting arms. So I've already gone ahead and unscrewed the half inch bolt and lock washer from the channel nut. So the spring is resting on the channel and it's ready for the bolt and the washer to connect to the arm. So the first thing you'll wanna do is line up your channel nut with this hole in your mounting arm here. And then once you have that, you'll go ahead and just take your bolt and lock washer and put them right back in and go ahead and hand thread that into the channel nut. Okay, so now that we've hand tightened each bolt on top, you want to go ahead and just make sure that the roller is centered behind the machine. I've already done it here, but just make sure that each of your arms are even and you have the same amount of space on both sides. Once you've done that, go ahead and just tighten down each of these bolts on top and secure it to the roller. Alright, so once you've secured everything down and you're ready to go, We'll go ahead and release the flap. So whatever you have propping that up, just go ahead and remove that. And then you wanna give the roller one final check here by lifting it up just to make sure that everything is secure and it's not gonna interfere with anything. And then if you have a bagger, you can go ahead and reattach that as well and we'll be done. All right guys, so that is it for me and the installation of the Checkmate Striping Kit on the Toro Time Master Wide Area Walk Behind Mower. If you guys need any other help or have any other questions for us, give us a call at 800-411-0150. Thanks and we'll see you next time.